What's going on, Fearless family? And welcome back to another episode. And today we're talking about, yes, 10 things that you can do in the current situation, COVID-19, to stay entertained, to stay productive, and to stay on task, amongst other things. Now, there's lots of these videos out there at the moment, you know, what you can be doing with your time. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. Some of them, it's really easy to overlook, so I thought I'd give you some basic demonstrations, keep it fun, but I thought I'd err on the side of productivity and also looking at positive things that you can be doing that you're actually gonna invest in yourself. So when you do come out of COVID-19 or even during, you can continue on doing some of these things or at least you've set yourself up for you know being able to get back when everything turns on again, rather than just giving you sort of minutia, time wasting things, which you know we can kind of do anyway, play games and you know make things up. I thought, hang on, let me give you at least ten solid things that you can do that's going to positively contribute to your lifestyle, and most of them are pretty damn fun, and I guarantee you'll feel better after them anyway. So anyway, let's get into it. In no particular order, this is just what I came up with. These are some things that have really helped me, some things that I've been doing, some things that I've took from other people that I'm like, you know what, that's really good, I'm gonna do that. So guys, make sure you at least pick a couple of these. You don't have to do all of them. Some of them won't apply to you, some of them, they just won't resonate, but if you can pick at least a handful, you know, three to five, and you can actually get stuck in, you'll find you'll be less bored, you'll be more productive with your time, and you can have some pretty positive things to actually you know, sink your teeth into. So, number one, I've got my trusty notes with me as always. Read and listen. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Obviously, books, audio books, etc. If you don't like reading, get an audio book. You've probably had book recommendations over the years, I know I have. If you've got a list, like I've got, or if you've not got a list, or you've created a list, create one if you've not, go through your list, go on Audible, or iTunes, not iTunes, that's podcast, you can do that too. Um, whatever um, medium you use for your audio books or even real books, Amazon, etc., whatever you can get your hands on if you have the luxury of going to some stores and they're open, go down there with a the big list and literally just go through and look what you can get your hands on, read the covers, get a bit of a, a synopsis, see if it grabs you. And if you're unsure, literally just start at the top of your list and work your way down because otherwise you'll end up just procrastinating. And reading is gonna be good for many things apart from increasing your vocabulary, giving you something to do and focus on, taking your time away from the electronics, etc. It's gonna teach you things as well, depending on the type of book. So that is number one. So get out there and do some reading. We should all read more. The knowledge is there in the books, even if it's just a bit of a fun and escape from reality. But honestly, guys, Something that I never thought I'd say and do, but honestly, read more. It is one of the most underrated and valuable tools you can do. You hear it all the time, get to it. My um, book recommendations, I guess I should give you. So I'll give you just three, there's, there's quite a lot now. But um, the first one would be The Happiness Advantage uh, by Sean Acor, self-explanatory. The next one would be The Richest Man in Babylon, um, where by Clayson, would you Clayson? Anyway, it's like a platinum selling book. You put that in, you'll find it well written and explained. The Five Love Languages, absolutely phenomenal. I'm not a big fan of the religious element, but I like the principles in it. And the latest one, um, it models really, really good by Mark Manson. Obviously, you'll know him from Subtle Art of Giving a Fuck and a lot of other things. So there are just some basic ones that I think a lot of you on my channel will really like. If you like what you know I'm into and what I'm doing, you'll probably get a lot out of those too. All right, number two is clean, organize, and clear out. Yes, I know a lot of us have, don't want to do this or we're procrastinating, but let's face it, a lot of us have got a lot of waste and you know a lot of clutter, and it's going to help with your mental clarity. It's going to help with your productivity throughout the day. Declutter, guys. Minimalize. Get rid of things. Sell it off. Make some money. Give it away. Give it away to people who actually need it more than you, people who are actually going to use it, etc. Um, and then you might even find some other things that you can be sinking your teeth into. You might find some books, you might find some board games, you might find some documents or some work or something that you're like, you know what, I've been needing to do this for a while. So have a bit of a clear out, whether it's your bedroom, whether it's your kitchen, lounge room, whether it's your garage, and you never know what you might find. You never know, it's a bit of a treasure hunt. And at the very least, you're gonna organize some space for yourselves too. All right, study number three. 
Study. Okay, um, education. If you are someone who has a job or had a job <laughs> and you have a passion or some remote interest, you might want to study and reinvest in yourself. Okay, especially for a lot of us health professionals, this is something that a lot of us should be doing. There's a very small percentage that do. We won't go down that rabbit hole, but if you truly love what you do, you should be educating yourself on the daily, reinvesting, reading up on articles, books, journals, whatever it might be. You might be doing a course. I don't know, there's lots of free um, symposiums and, and masterclasses that they're doing at the minute as well. So there's lots and lots of stuff out there. It could be something to do with a project that's a bit of a side hustle and you wanna get better, you, know, you wanna educate yourself, you wanna build some new skill sets. So this is a really, really good time to allocate some time in the day. Don't overface yourself, don't bite off too more, much more than you can chew. Just allocate you know, 15, 30 minutes and then build it up. Create a nice little quiet office space. Make sure you allocate the time, go in there, you know, create the setup. And again, start learning, start reinvesting in yourself. Four, create, yes. It's hard sometimes if you're in the wrong mindset to be creative, especially with everything that's going on at the minute. I know a lot of people are gonna really study to be creative because you know you might be worried about, you know, you've lost your job, you might not have a lot of income coming in, you might not be in a secure place or location, you might not even be with your home country or your family. It can be really, really stressful, but if we can kind of get off the fight or flight response and we can relax and rationalize and you know, focus on what we are in control of, then perhaps we start to get creative within our own space and our own field, whatever that may be, whether that's writing, whether that's playing music, okay? Whether that's you know getting in the kitchen, whatever it is, again, this is gonna to apply to your skill. It could be building something, it could be using your hands, etc. We're all different, we all express creativity in different ways. But creativity is a great way to actually invest in oneself and growth and create something, not only for yourself, but for others, that you can make a positive impact in. Okay, five, plan. There are lots of things that we can be planning at the moment. There's a lot of things we can't be planning because obviously the situation is so up and down, but there's quite a number of things that we can be doing. And this is something to look forward to. So it might be planning some work excursions. It might be planning some holidays, planning some getaways planning some trips that you wanted to do for a while with your partner, your significant other, or even solo travel. You know, where do you wanna go? I've been jumping on Airbnb and looking at where I wanna go when I go back to Europe, and you know, where am I gonna stay, and kind of what are the prices, and obviously there's fluctuations, but kind of just getting a bit of a ballpark, and getting a bit of a plan, and it's exciting, and it's fun, and it gives you something to look forward to, so. You know, have a look at planning. It doesn't just have to be that. It can be concerts, can be outings, you know, be trips with friends, but you know, put it on the calendar, try and make it a day. Although things are tentative at the moment, it is gonna give you some positivity in your life and you can collaborate, you know, even with your friends if you have to get on a Zoom call and be like, hey, like, when are we doing the snowboarding trip or whatever it might be. And that's a really cool way to, you know, spend your time and again, give you something to look forward to for the future. Okay, number six is learn. So you'll notice a lot of these are crossing over because there's different types of aspects to each of these elements that I'm telling you because they're gonna be relevant to your situation. Learning, learning is something that is truly fulfilling. It's something we're always doing, whether we like it or not for our life, and we should seek it out and we should embrace it. Whether that's new skills, okay, music, learning a language, etc. you know, get an instrument. There's a lot of cheap things going out the minute. You might borrow one from a friend. This might be the time to pick up the guitar or play the piano or learn the flute or whatever it is that you wanna do. Read music. This Heaps of masterclasses as well online at the minute. You can use YouTube. We've still got access, most of us, to internet. If not, you know, speak to someone in your family, speak to a friend, get on Zoom, get on a phone call, someone in your household that has a skill that you wanna learn, get them to sit down and show you. Again, it's a positive way to, you know, pass the time and also reinvest in yourself. Okay, number seven is cooking. This is not for everyone, but I wanna take this on a different direction. Because even if this is not something that you wanna do, it's something that to some degree you should know how to do. So when it comes to cooking, a lot of people, they're really, really not quite getting it. And there's a lot of people that I've experienced when I come in contact, when I coach with them, is that they've not even got the basic skills. They don't even know how to make some basic recipes, you know, some basic breakfast, some basic lunches, some basic, you know, dinners, etc., some snacks. This is a really good time to, you know, get, get whatever food you've got in, use the minimalistic food choices that you may have access to. What can you create with those? What's fast, what's time efficient, what's fun, what's healthy, what's nutritious? What do you like, what do you don't like? Again, you've got everything on YouTube, you've probably got some cookbooks, there's so many things out there. You may even have, you know, your mom and dad at home or whatever it might be, get on the phone to them, 
learn some stuff guys. It's a great life skill and it's something that you will need, especially if you wanna maintain some level of health and wellness within your life. So don't underestimate the power of learning to cook. Even if you don't enjoy it, learn the bare bone basics and if you do, go help a leather and get creative. Sleep, yes. All right, sleep again. I'm not even gonna bang on about it. All I'm gonna say is this, sleep more, it'll improve every single aspect of your life. Sleep less and not enough, it'll destroy every aspect of your life. Now is a great time, you've got no excuses, especially if you're not at work, and even if you are, you're probably on less hours, whatever it might be, but take the time to create good sleep and wake habits and routines and make sure you stick and keep to them when you go back into the workplace and don't be so quick to let that fall away and let that be the thing that's soon taken or impacted as soon as things get busy again. Guys, I cannot recommend sleep enough and if you watch my channel, you know that. And if you want any good resources or questions and theories and you know whatever clarity, DM me, email me, and um, I'll help you find some great resources which will really put it into perspective of how important sleep is. But look, if you're well slept, you'll know a difference and you won't realize how underslept you are until you actually you know, combine and get consistently proper eight, nine hour quality sleeps, okay? So make sure you have a good space for that. I've got lots of resources. Go back to my other YouTube videos and you'll be able to watch those too. Nine is reconnect. Now, depending on where you're around the world, once again, you might be stuck somewhere, you might be in your home country, you might be in a different country that you are studying at or living and working at. This is a great time to reach out to friends, to family, to new people, it might be other colleagues that are struggling. Maybe you've got some people around you which don't have the luxury to have a family. This is a great time to connect and reconnect with those people, you know, get on the phone, get on a Zoom call, get on a FaceTime, hell, go old school, write a letter. You know, there's probably someone or some people that we've neglected the communication with and perhaps this is time to, to just reach out and, you know, put on a put a friendly line out there and see if they need help or even just reconnect an old flame and relationship that perhaps needs some kindling. 10, stretch and meditation. Again, these are basic things guys which are really going to impact your life and a lot of these things you're probably going through the list and be like yeah i've heard that before or i've been told to do that and i was there and, and i get it but there's a reason why people who are doing well keep banging on about these things and it's because that they work and they're good and you, they will help you reinvest in your health and you will feel better you will look better it improves all aspects of your life because it's all about balance. Everything is, you know, intertwined and coagulated. It's never just about just one thing or getting really good at just one thing. At some point, you've got to maintain some level of balance throughout all the different aspects of your life. And stretching and meditation is something that you can do. A meditation doesn't have to be sitting on a block, you know, as funny as it is and um, as we think. Meditation can just be literally doing something where you're completely present and you enjoy it. And that could be going back to that learning factor where you, you know, you're playing your guitar or maybe you're training. Maybe you're just sat lying down and just chilling out or listening to your favorite music. Whatever it is to you, that's a form of meditation. It's complete, undivided attention for yourself, okay? And you start with that and you just, you can progress it over time and you know, be with yourself, be with your own thoughts, let them come in. It's a great time to get creative. It's a great time to clear your mind and even address some issues that might be there in the back of your mind that sort of float to the front when everything is silenced around you. Uh, stretching, again, I've got some videos on this. This has probably been one of the most powerful skills that I've implemented. It was probably one of the most challenging to build a habit, but once I did, my body has never felt better with all the heavy lifting. Um, the way I sleep is better, the way I move is better, the performance, the recovery. Uh, I don't really have any aches. I used to get a little bit of lower back, you know, aches and pains and sort of rectified everything else and it was always just hanging around it was just tight muscles so again it's a basic thing but if you stick with it and it will take some time you will feel better guys I guarantee it you will feel better so if you want some stretching videos go back on some of my old YouTube video uh, older YouTube videos I've got a couple of routines and um, and there's a couple that I can recommend as well from from fellow practitioners and coaches here on YouTube that have really helped me too so there's lots of information out there guys there's no excuse there is 10 things that you could be doing to keep yourself busy, to use your time wisely in COVID-19. If you've got any really good suggestions, guys, I wanna hear it, share it. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing with your time, share the knowledge about. If something didn't make sense, if you want some more recommendations on books or meditation or sleep or skills or learning or resources, hey, you could even jump into my academy. Shameless plug and start learning about that. There's an idea.
<laughs> educate yourself. So there's so many things that we can do and sometimes we're so overwhelmed, so write it down, just pick a few, don't overface yourself and just get started doing something positive. Guys, as always, if you like the video, like the video. Thank you for all your support. Thanks for watching. Comment as always, subscribe for more weekly videos. Got lots and lots of great content continuously coming through this period. And I'm very confident that things will return soon. But let this be a lesson that we shouldn't take things for granted and perhaps take some positives away from the situation for when we go back and things do return so we can be even better again. And again, we can build that positivity and that holistic lifestyle. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, as always, stay fearless.